Hello everybody, welcome to Filmmaking Today, Bojan Zulovic here. So, are you looking for three vintage lenses for less than $100? Stay tuned. This is the Helios 44M-4 58mm f2, the Fujian 35mm f1.7 and the Indostar 61 55mm f2.8. In this video we're going to talk about all three of these lenses and show how they're very unique in their own way. The Helios one is the only out of the three lenses that has a focal reducer attached to it, which means its 58mm focal length becomes 41 in this case. The Fujian lens is technically not a vintage lens as it is used as a CCTV lens. However, I do believe it fits in this category because of its image quality. And something important to notice about the Indostar 61 is that its minimum focusing distance is over a meter, which will make it difficult to shoot something up close. All three of these lenses are manual and they will require some kind of an adapter. Links to all that will be in the description, so check it out. And if you want to see my full reviews on all three of these lenses, links will also be in the description and will pop up on screen. Let's take a look at the bokeh. When it comes to the Helios one, you are getting these oval shaped bokehs which look very nice. The Fujian will have very similar ones but not quite as pronounced. And the Indostar will not give you a lot of bokeh, it is more of a standard kind of a lens when it comes to that. Now let's take a look at image quality. With the Helios one, the background will be nicely out of focus, you get this swirly type of an image which looks very nice. Now with the Fujian, it is a very similar thing, however, it is actually more pronounced. So you get this very swirly background, which can look very nice if you have an object in the center and if the background is very busy, as you can see here. With the Indostar, however, you are getting a more of a neutral background when it comes to that. It is nicely out of focus, although it doesn't have quite the shallow depth of field of any of the other two lenses because it starts at 2.8. So if you are looking for more of a neutral type of a lens, the Indostar is the way to go. Now let's take a look at more examples at different f-stops. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, these three lenses are very, very interesting. Bottom line, it boils down to this. If you are looking for a lens that will be sort of uh, middle of the road, doesn't have too many crazy characteristics, but still gives you that vintage look, the Indostar, for sure. If you're looking for one, sort of the Boca King, they, that will give you uh, oval uh, Boca uh, shapes and uh, still give you a little bit of a swirly background, Helios one. Done. And if you're looking for one that's kind of crazy, you know, the crazy uncle uh, that's that's giving you really swirly bokeh, not so much of a pronounced um, uh, of an oval bokeh shape, but just like swirly image uh, on the sides and that kind of stuff, uh, Fujian, for sure. Uh, these three lenses are very interesting. They um, can be used, obviously, 
for specific reasons, you know, uh, aside from the Innistar, which like I said, you could use sort of on an everyday basis. The other ones are more of an, acqu on a, of an acquired taste, right? So some will love it, some will hate it, eh, some will be in the middle. Um, but all in all, I think they're pretty sweet. And um, I hope this video helped you to see the difference and uh, all that good stuff. Links to everything you saw here will be in the description and uh, links to the full reviews. Uh, so the, the uh, reviews targeting the individual lenses will also be in the description and uh, probably popped up at some point in the video. So that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, tell your friends and all that good stuff and stay tuned for more. Thanks. Thank you.